Have you ever taken a pill and as soon as you took it, you feel it working and that you feel better already? This goes to show how powerful your mind is. Your thoughts are so powerful that it can even change you physically. It's your unlock potential and let's go. In the past weeks, I talked about the benefits of positive thinking, the dangers of positive thinking, and how important it is to achieve balance as with everything else in your life. That's why in this video, I want to talk about how your thoughts can affect you in physical form and manifest in reality. So what's the placebo effect? The placebo effect is a therapeutic outcome that comes from an inert treatment. What does that mean? An inert treatment is anything that doesn't have to do with a treatment effect. It can be a sugar pill, a saline solution, a pretend surgery, or positive thoughts. With placebo, when believing a treatment or procedure will work, your mind helps your body to become better with no proper treatment. There are many studies that are still trying to understand how placebos work scientifically, but placebo is one of the many things that science has yet to explain. In fact, the coolest thing about placebo is that even when you know it's a placebo, it will have positive effects on your body. A 2014 study published in Science Translational Medicine found that when patients took a sugar pill labeled placebo, the group that took placebo was still 50% as effective as the actual drug. So where in the brain is placebo responsible? A 2016 study published in PLOS Biology used MRI, magnetic resonance imaging, to find where in the brain is most active when patients took a placebo. The researchers found that the middle frontal gyrus brain region, which makes up about one third of the frontal lobe, showed greater activity compared to the rest of the brain. So positive thoughts can treat diseases or relieve pain. But of course, this does not mean we will neglect actual treatment. Like I said before, a placebo was only 50% as effective as the actual drug in one study. This means that the actual drug or treatment still has more benefits than just placebos. In fact, in studies regarding cancer where doctors are looking at whether a tumor shrinks, placebo have very little, if any, effect. Bonus information. Number one, did you know that humans are not the only ones that can benefit from placebo? Research has shown that several animals can also experience a placebo effect for certain treatments. Most notably, a 2010 study published in the Journal of Veterinary Internal Medicine showed a placebo effect for canines treated for epilepsy. Number two, the color and size of a tablet, the frequency, and brand names can alter the effectiveness of the placebo effect. Larger pills induce a stronger effect than smaller pills. Red pills cause the patients to be more alert and awake, while yellow placebo pills are the most effective at treating depression. White pills help to soothe stomach issues such as ulcers, and green pills help to ease anxiety. Pills that have a brand name stomp on them also work better than pills that have nothing written on them. Lastly, the more placebo pills taken, the stronger the effect, with those taken four times a day more effective than those taken twice daily. Number three, you can make yourself drunk through placebo. Researchers have found that those who believe they have been drinking vodka, which was actually just tonic water and lime, had impaired judgment. They did worse on simple tests and their IQ became lower. So placebo has an actual effect on your physical body. Imagine if you think more positively, what could be the result? And if you smash that like button and hit the subscribe button with the bell, you can become a better version of yourself. New videos are posted on self-development every Wednesday and Sunday. I promise this isn't a placebo. For those of you that watch my videos, thank you for all the support so far. It means a lot to me. Okay, getting back to the topic. The opposite is true, however, with negative thinking. When the placebo gives you a negative effect, it's called a nocebo. The nocebo effect is when the patient expects a treatment that will have more negative effect than it does. For example, when you expect a side effect to happen when you take a pill, you may experience a side effect without it being an actual side effect, but simply because you are expecting the side effect. A very interesting and well done study published in 2013 in the journal Gastroenterology found that gluten containing diets caused gastrointestinal distress in people without celiac disease. They called this non celiac gluten sensitivity. To give a brief background on the science, gluten is a general name given to proteins found in wheat. Gluten helps food to maintain their shape, like a glue, and makes some food chewy. Individuals with celiac disease cannot eat gluten because it damages their small intestine. Celiac disease affects about 1% of the world population, but recently, more and more adults are changing their diets to be gluten-free, 
and more individuals have identified themselves as gluten sensitive. Anyway, the participants ate three types of diets in the study. The researchers gave them diets containing high gluten, low gluten, and no gluten, without knowing which one is which. In the end, all the diets gave the participants pain, nausea or dizziness, gas, and bloating all to a similar degree. It didn't matter if the diet contained gluten or not, it was their mind and thinking that gave their body a physical result. Now, this video isn't to talk about whether people should have gluten-free diets even if they don't have celiac disease, it's their choice. This video is to bring light into how this study is the perfect example of the nocebo effect. People think they will feel worse eating the food, and so they did. The same way placebo effect has a positive impact on your body, the nocebo effect has a negative impact on yours. So this begs the question, where can you use placebo to your benefits? And how can you prevent nocebo? Well, you can start by believing in yourself, believing that you are in good health, believing that you can feel happier, believing that you can achieve the next goal and visualize it happening. This might sound like a cliche, but now it's backed by science. When you use placebo effect and compound it with activities like exercise, changing and improving yourself, healthy eating, and doing the things you love, you can achieve so much. And nocebo? Perhaps we should not over worry about some of the negative aspects of life and not dwell on the mistakes we have made, or even mistakes that haven't even happened yet. While we should be careful and minimize any bad things that may happen to us, thinking too negatively will definitely hold us back. With that, I thank you so much for watching this video until the end, but don't click off just yet. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe with the notification bell on. It takes many hours of research and countless nights editing to make these videos possible. So if you found it helpful, please support me with likes and comments. And if you didn't enjoy it, please let me know what I can do to improve. If you found the information helpful, share it with your friends and family. They will get to know about the benefits of placebo and how they may change their perspective on life for the better. Let me know in the comment section down below, have you experienced the placebo or nocebo effect? I look forward to hearing your story. Embrace the positivity and continue to have your potential unlocked. Keep on improving and keep learning. I'll see you all next Wednesday. Cheers.